channel today i'm just gonna be making a sari a sari is like an indian uh, bustier tube top so let's get started i'm going to use a basic uh, front bodice and if you don't know how i'm gonna draft this front bodice again please i'll put a link down below so you can see the one i've made before the video okay normally as you all know i like to put a a line at the top of any of my patterns like a gauge line where all my measurements will start from okay let's get started today i'm just gonna be using basic neck width three inches and the length three inches we're not going to be bothered with it actually but it's just okay to do it three inches so I'm just gonna roll it out okay and then from here I'm working with the shoulder of 14 14 divided by 2 is 7 I'm just gonna add half an inch so seven and a half so from there I drop it by one inch Just drop my slope down like that. Okay. And after which I do all the vertical measurements, then we'll start drafting our that. What I'm working with is hammer O of 16. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. And a bust chest, that's the chest line. A bust line is 10 and a half. And on the bust. 14 and a waist 16 okay because I've got a kind of a hell ruler I like to use it and then it just gives me a straight line when I hook it there and if you haven't got it you just measure 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 so you can get a straight line okay I'm just drawing out all the lines as well so let me just measure what I've got here which is seven and a half and then I go straight through okay and from that drop I find the midpoint which should be three point five of seven and then I push it up or in by half an inch here I don't like my drop to be too low so I normally put a gauge of one inch okay so I construct it now From here, I'm going to draft my dart. And what is a dart? That's your bust span, which is nipple to nipple. And hers is seven, so I'm working on three and a half plus half an inch is four. So I do it on all the lines. Four inches, four inches. Uh, I'm just gonna leave all this so we keep remembering. Chest line bust line on the bust line and the waist the waist line okay. so from here i'm going to find the midpoint to get exact i just put it on it and pew. so from that point i connect it to my bust line So 
sometimes if you really want it to be obvious the bust you can increase it up by half an inch and below here half an inch or one inch is up to you so we continue and I just connect it straight down okay. so I haven't got that we start from the bottom or we start from the bottom I put one inch here an inch here here I put um, one and a half I put one and a half on this side I put one here and here my underboss distance is three and a half so I connect it from here I could use three and a half or better still it's up to me I can use four but I'm gonna use three and a half as I'm told <laughs> as I'm told okay so you can make a straight line with that just using my ruler so I get exact straight line okay then here on the chest from here I'm going to extend it by because it's a bustier like a tube I'll do one and a half on each side half one and a half one and a half so I'm going to connect it now If you've in raised it up here, raised it up here, you can connect from here like this and connect the other side like that. But if you've not raised it up, you can also go down like this or like this. So also down here when you're connecting it, I like to use this curved one so it comes it up for me. So it seems like I'll stick with this half an inch drop and increase and then I connect this one with a straight line and then connect down one inch to one inch and one and a half to two inch to one, one inch so that is it actually and that is ready if you are doing like a, a love heart you can just connect it that way like this basically you don't drop it too much you can just connect it that way or and this way I need to know the number I use there 45 to there about there 45 to there okay and then you connect it like that so that will be the, the love hat one but I'm using a straight tube because I need this to go straight on it okay. so having said that we can now measure the horizontal I'm working with um, the chest line of 34 or bust line 34 Fold your tape measure into four and just place it on the line and it will give you exact, you don't need to worry your head how to calculate or decimal, it's been easy for me that way. 
So I'm pressing it on the chest line and the bust line together. And on the on the bust, I'm working with 27. Do the same thing. This the same thing. Sorry. Divide it by four. 72. Divide by four. You start it from the fold up to here. And the waistline of 26 and a half. Place it on the waistline. So now to add extra inches for all the dot allowances. So here we've got one here, we've got one here. So I'm going to add um, two to this side, two inches. But if you're cutting straight on the fabric, make sure you add extra seam allowance. I might as well just add it so it's easy for me when I place it on my fabric. And from here, we've got one, one and a half, so I'm going to add two and a half. One and this is what's this line? Yeah, and then I put one inch sorry for my seam allowance. And then here we don't have anything, so we leave it like that. All this will take care of it. Then the next one is we've got one and a half, one and a half, which is three. So three plus one inch for seam allowance. So I'm just gonna connect all the lines together. Seems this is perfect. And that's it really. You can leave it like this and extend. I will just adjust it later. Okay, and that is it. So I'm gonna cut this out and we'll start with the back. But remember, put extra seam allowance here. So you can join it to, or use it to fold your lining. So half an inch all through. Also here, you put seam allowance. I just need half an inch as well. Here, remember, I like it to be in a triangle form so that when I cut it, it just, just folds back, basically. <laughs> I'm used to doing that anyway. Or if not, you fold your dress like this when you're cutting, then it will give you that shape. Okay, so let's cut.
Let's see, really. Let's put it down. And this one here. As well. And this is how you make a sari or a tube top like a bustier. Please watch out for part two of the making of the back bodies. Thank you.